Welcome to round 3 of the 1995 BTCC season I'm running in GTR2. I have qualified the car on pole. My teammate is in second and uh, John Cleland, the other championship contender, is uh, down in 7th place, which is good. Uh, this is the first round at uh, Brands Hatch Indy, which is not one of my favorite layouts, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I've gone for a bit of a safer setup on the car because of the weather and uh, yeah. Also first race with the wonderful British weather which uh, may be a bit chaotic especially with the CA but uh, hopefully not too many issues. The start is uh, a bit uh, difficult, but uh, yeah, I am not first in paddock, but uh, oh, he's a bit early on the brakes. Oh, he ran a bit wide. Oh god, the understeer. First lap. He is running wide a bit again. Oh crap! Phew! That was a bit too close, but uh, we're fine. Quite of a gap there, unfortunately. Hopefully, the AI picks it up somewhat. But, uh, I'm not so sure with this weather. So, uh, yeah. Wow, four seconds. That's, uh... A much bigger gap than from what I expected from qualifying. Oh. 
photo. Anything can happen with this weather, so let's keep trucking. So, from what I can tell, the AI has a bit of a problem through exactly one corner. And, uh, It's a very peculiar issue they're having. This corner right here, I can't remember its name, but uh, they run very deep in the corner and uh, lose out on this straight. And uh, while this is not uh, a very long straight, in fact, it's rather short. Oh, understood. Well, it's not very long, it's, uh, it's just enough to kill their momentum, and, uh, oh, that might be a bit too wide, yep. It's, uh, they're running just... just slower enough so that they kill their momentum and uh, that's why I'm pulling out this massive lead for at least touring car standards I am certainly not the best at wet weather but uh, bloody hell Oh crap, I keep looking, keep looking at the massive gap that I built up over second place and almost miss my breaking point for Pedak Hill. But, uh, Oh crap, that's a bit too wide. Yeah, not my best circuit, that's for damn sure. And uh, smoothly does it. Oh crap. That rumble strip really does kill your momentum. Privateers. Hopefully, he won't, he won't give me too many issues. Oh crap! It's really early on the brakes there. See, they do that swerve right on the exit. I don't know why, but uh, that really does kill their momentum exiting on the street. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, it happens. Bloody hell, 9.6 seconds. Wow.
stations. There we go. I had uh, quite a bit of trouble getting a quick lap in qualifying. Especially through Paddock Hill Bend, but uh, I managed it. And uh, so far, so good managing it during the race. really no time to switch into fourth. Oh god, oh god. Patrick, don't you dare. expecting to come up to the manufacturer teams already but taking that weird line. I don't get it. I'm not sure if it's the track or the wet weather, but uh, We're fine. Thought I locked up there, but uh, we're fine. And again, why the hell? much for a challenging third round. I am 50 sec 15 seconds sorry, clear of second place. And, uh, carving through traffic already.
the bright side. I think I've managed to get a good setup for this wet race, which is uh, surprising for me. exactly want to give that place over or rather want to be lapped but oh well I don't know maybe it's maybe it's the sawtooth curve or something that makes the AI think for lack of a better term that uh, they might spin the car and so they slow down. I don't know, really. But uh, this is becoming a bit pointless, to be honest. actually feels pretty good in these conditions. Oh, why are you moving there? No. Car actually feels pretty good in these conditions. There's a uh, of course, you have to be a lot smoother, especially with the brake, but also with the with everything basically. But uh, especially with the brake, since uh, it is really easy to lock up the fronts on these front-wheel drive cars and uh, lose all steering. Which is quite scary, if I'm honest. Oh, that was a bit scary. The curb kind of upset the car there, but uh, we're fine. with that strange line. Clap too. Oh god, a bit wide.
let's try this. Six gear. Para heal. Down to fourth. Patient, patient. Step throttle. Down to second. Patience, patience. Slowly on the throttle. Third, fourth. Down to third again. Oh, a bit wide. Patient, patient. On the throttle. Up to fifth. A slight tap on the brake. Missed the curve a bit, but oh well. Down to second. Patience, patience. And fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Top gear. Down to fourth. Slowly, slowly, slowly. On the throttle. Fifth. Third. Second. A bit wide again. Cut back. Third. Fourth. Third again. Fifth gear. Let's try this again. That was a lot nicer. Down to second again. Third. Fourth. That's a really tough corner. The last exit. Oh, I might have like break myself. Oh no. We're fine. was an overtake. Pretty sweet one. Although I'm guessing they were getting a blue flag to let me go by. But still, I got a good run. Down, dove down the inside. I didn't all break myself, so it's all good. traffic in front. Oh wait, is that? No way. This might actually be the leading group, apart from me of course. Their bullshit. There we go. Oh god. Well, serves you right for turning in on the leader. the closest affair, but uh, we'll put it down to wet weather driving, hey? Yeah, I'll uh, need to check whatever it was that made the AI 
so many issues around here. And uh, hopefully, second second round will be closer.